going on, guys? How's it going? I know you're looking at me. Well, you know what? I have not changed the game on here, which I thought I did on my live stream. Let me make some quick changes here on my dashboard settings. Where is this game? WWE All Stars. Okay. All right. Settings have been changed finally. I see there's people watching this, but where is everybody? Let me go ahead and tweet this out. I probably need to tweet this out. Live streaming. What's up, Jason? How's it going? Let's insert this disc, this precious cargo. WWE All Stars. You know, I never played this game. Here we go. PJ, I love you. Love you? Do you mean to say I love you? Or you just don't want to be weird by saying I love you? So you added the W instead of a L. Where is everybody? Hell, there's people that said that they were going to watch this stream. Thank you, Elite, for watching my live stream, man. Really appreciate it. Alright, let's go ahead and start this game. They lied to me. You know, they probably did, and they probably did that on purpose. You know, oh, pff, WWE All Star. Nobody's gonna play this game. I'm just gonna go ahead and select this option, and there you go. There, that was it right there. Looking at a clip by Sarcasm Gaming that I would like to share. I don't know what this is about. Check this out. The heck is that? Is that a DX stick flying up in the air? What the hell? That's just kind of weird. Huh. Ooh, the game has started. Turn down the audio. Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song playing in the background. That will always get you pumped up, no matter what. And now Ed's theme song. Wow, what a variation. I love this game. This will be fun. I wonder how... <laughs> We'll see. I have to learn this game first. Struggles occur. Well, pfft. Oh, that was too slow. I don't even care. I just want to play. All right, we're in. Let's go ahead and play online. I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, look. Online is unplayable, of course. You know, this game is like, I don't know how many years old. It's very old. Stream is buffering a lot. Is stream buffering? Can any uh, anyone else confirm that? Because on my end, the stream is working totally fine. Without any issues. Six years old. This game is six years old. Wow. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump right into the exhibition mode. Actually, first, you know what? Let's go ahead and make gameplay... Oh, it is set on rookie. Okay. And maybe because I was trying to play it the last time and I was like, you know what? I want to learn this game and yeah. 
Alright, we're gonna play an exhibition one on one mono y mono match. Yeah, the roster is unlocked. <laughs> that's for sure. That tells you how much I played this game, you know? Uh, I guess I'll play as The Rock. And we'll take on Juan Cena. Why not? Yeah, I have nothing unlocked in this game. Is there a story mode? For some odd reason, WrestleMania is unlocked. Dude, look at Seamus' hair. When the opponent's health meter is fully drained. Uh, <laughs> Every time I try to read it, it goes away. Oh, fireworks. This isn't WrestleMania. This is like a house show. This is like TNA stage, dude. What happened to the budget of the WWE? A lot of people confirmed that the stream is fine, but there's two people that said that it was buffering. Hmm, I don't know why it would buffer. Cause it is working fine on my end when I'm watching it. Oh, 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 Cena with that big purple shirt. My gosh. They really did buff up Cena, didn't they? <laughs> oh, they're not even coming in the ring, you know. They just stop at the ramp. Half-assed work that they put in into this game. I'm just kidding. I don't know. All right. Let's see how this goes. I hope he goes easy on me. You know what? It will be better if I can have the rules sheet out. Or the game rules, you know? Cena is on steroids. He probably is. People are chanting, you can't see me. Okay. Oh, there we go. First grapple. Spine buster. I don't know what the controls are. I'm going with the uh, the usual controls for most of the SmackDown vs. Raw games. And three spine busters. Okay. What a variation. What? What the hell? I even... Alright, swip your opponent. Okay, nice. Different type of lockup. Alright. That's a German suplex right there. Ooh. I guess the RB button is a reversal button. Holy crap! Five. Five punches. Ooh, reversal! Nice! Ah, oh, come on. Trying to take a big swing jab at him. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to! But whatever. Ah, oh, he reversed it. Crap. Again, same spawn buster. What the hell? Alright, let's try this again. What? <laughs> okay. Alright. Another German suplex. Let's try to do reversal. Oh my gosh. Was that a rock bottom? Another spine buster. My gosh. Alright. Do something else. What the hell? There aren't many things you can do in this game, can you? Same moves? I guess everybody does same punches. Just like how Cena was doing earlier. Press and hold Y to charge up strike. Ooh. Come on. Ooh, you can get out of the ring. All right. Ah, freaking DDT. Kick his butt. People are trying to kick his butt. How do you grab up uh, RT plus B? Oh, by God, the shield. All right. And 
Nice. Ooh, okay. I want to do a finisher. Ah, oh. ah! Oh, come on, grab him, give him a superplex or something, man. What? The? Whoa, 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 whoa! X plus. <laughs> There's so much going on on the screen. X plus A. To perform a signature move, I think that's what it said. Only if he leaves me alone, maybe I will. Oh, come on. X plus A, X plus A, okay. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, my God. What a thunderous. What a thunderous, uh, uh what do you call it? Samoan drop. LT to do the pin. Oh, come on. Run. Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Is that another Samoan drop? My gosh. I think that was uh, different. So the stars that I see underneath my name, those are uh, basically the signature moves that I'm using. I have a finisher as well. Can I use a finisher? How do I do that? That's the question. I want to be able to use... A finishing move. Hmm. You can't reverse every move. It's just uh, the grapples. Or you can block the punches. There we go. I guess I did reverse a punch. Alright. You know what? I can't figure out how to do a rock bottom, so I'm going to look to see in this book right here. Let's take this out. How you guys doing today, by the way? There's 21 people watching this live stream. Iceland are going to win their group. I have no idea what you're talking about. Hang on, I'm trying to read finishers and signatures. There we go. You can execute one of your superstar signature moves by pressing X plus A or Y plus B. Some superstars have as many as four different signature moves. Some of these signature moves are based on your superstar's position in the ring. Try pressing X plus A, Y plus B while pulling back on L. Standing on the turnbuckle, performing a running attack, attacking opponents slumped in the corner, and other other methods. Okay, fill the finisher meter completely by performing extreme moves and other big attacks. And you can unleash your superstar's finisher by pressing and holding down LB plus RB at the same time when you are in the correct position. If you want to store your finisher, you can unleash it quickly later in the match. Tap the LB plus RB at the same time to charge and store the finisher. Okay. You can then use the finisher quickly by tapping LB plus RB at the same time. Alright, so it's LB plus RB. They keep repeating the same thing on the uh, on the book. What do I think about Sami Zayn? You know what? I actually recorded the live reaction. I, I didn't post it because my live reaction was lame I watched my own video and I was like I don't know if this is worth posting it or not so I didn't post it you know uh, but I can show you just just that one clip where Sami Zayn showed up okay all right here we go let's try this oh wait see I just did that I was trying to shake it up and the finisher meter has one down what would he do Yo, can you not run? I swear I thought you could run in this game. Oh, 
Alright, keep doing these silly moves over and over again. You can pin people outside, and I just won the match. I'm only going to get better at this game. I just need to go ahead and play some more. Alright, let's try something different, because there are other game modes you can play in this game. See, now you suck. He has five because he has altered the people's elbow if he pressed down on the opponent. Okay. CM Punk's theme song playing in the background. Path of Champions. Complete or compete in a 10 man gauntlet against the WWE's greatest legend, superstars, and tag teams. Challenge Undertaker, Randy Orton, or DX. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Sh shall we. Shall we try to play that? Let, let's let see. Oh, I actually uh, started on this. I should go ahead and just continue where I left off. It may not be too far, but... Oh, I got a tag team match. Well, that's going to that's gonna be something different. I don't know how far I played this game, you know? Oh, we're at WrestleMania. What the hell? Huh, Path of Champions. Who am I, The Rock? Did I choose The Rock? I'm going to go ahead and skip this. Who's my partner? That's the question. Oh, that jabroni. Stone Cold. <laughs> no middle fingers. Oh, my God. Your entrances, they're not bad at all for, you know, a game like this. DX. Triple H coming out by himself. Why not together? Yup. He told the game creators to make me look strong AF. Look how badass he looks. Everybody's on steroids. Imagine Crispin Y if he was in this game. Oh, HP Shizzle. Dude, Shawn Michaels looks like he's on drugs. <laughs> he looks so weird. I mean, everybody looks weird, but... Hmm. <laughs> that face. Everybody's face is so funny in this game. That guy blocked me on Twitter. His name should be that guy who blocked you on Twitter rather than Shawn Michaels. Alright. Ooh, Lewis Coburn just started watching. Cool, cool. I wonder how this is going to go. Championship match. For what? Women's? <laughs> or is it <laughs> tag team championship? Holy crap. No tags at all. Oh, everybody's taunting right before the start. Nice. Oh, great. How dare you, Triple H. This is like a fantasy type of matchup, you know? All right, I'm playing as The Rock, just so you guys won't get confused. Sean, really? God, really? Dang it. Mm, Triple H just reversed it. Oh, there we go. A suplex. Nice. Ah. Oh. All right. I'm starting to see a lot of reversals. Could be a bad, bad thing. Another spine buster. My gosh. I mean, my moves are so repetitive. Or it's just... I don't know if I know how to do them or not. Look, I'll go behind him and then... I don't know. Holy crap. Triple has just annihilated me with that move. Oh, what a freaking knee. Was that his signature move? That's got to be, dude. I'm hurt. Hmm. 
reversal. What the? Oh! What? What? Did you see Shawn Michaels? Holy crap! That was so unreal. F that. I'm flying up too. What the hell? Shawn Michaels is on some next level. That totally surprised me. How dare you? <laughs> oh, what is this? Tekken? They're flying up in the air with the mid juggle combos, mid air combos, or whatever. Alright, we're gonna do some move here. Come on. Here we go. Nice. Ah, Sean, get away from me, you sick freak. Oh my god. Stone Cold Stunner just totally wrecked Triple H. Oh, they're playing tough, man. So many reversals. I don't even know how to play this game. I mean, I'm, you know, just getting back into it. There we go. Suplex City. All right. Just grab Triple Eight. Another Samoan drop. All right. Here we go. I was going to go for a uh, finishing move. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it! Oh my god! Triple H just gave me a strong spine buster. I think that was his signature move. Let's see if we can uh, go for another finishing move. I have to fill up my uh, bar first, though. Come on, get out, get out. Alright, got out. Oh crap. Trying to get Shawn Michaels, man. They need to nerf that dude. No wonder why he keeps blocking everybody on Twitter. Ah! Uh, Triple H, go away! So many reversals in this game. Get your ass down here. His chest is red. What is going on? My chest is red too, actually. Warning, low health, a single powerful move can devastate your life. Alright, duly noted. Oh, come on! Why does he taunt? Just go ahead and use the finisher! Come on, Get, give me, give me a finisher! <laughs> oh my god. Who's that? Oh, was that? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stone Cold Steve Austin, I love you. Whoa, 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 what happened? Oh, we won! We won! We won! Okay. Alright. Cool story. But where are your middle fingers, bro? That was a tough, intense mat? Unbelievable. Oh, we're the new tag team champions, but why are... Dude, our belts are so small. Everything is so majestic in this game. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Are my, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, alerts working in this stream? Because I haven't seen anything. Let's go ahead and test it out. Cause I'd like to see it, what's going on here. I have a new alert system, if anybody has noticed. Of course, I mean, you guys haven't noticed because uh, we haven't seen anything in this um, stream yet. Let's go ahead and test it out. Hey, get a nice shot of the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Hunter Hearst Helmsley. This is a test donation for Dollar. Yeah, the donation's working. Uh, there is a new donation that I have, a thing that I've set up, uh, alert variation. 
Um, and it should be looking like this. This is a test donation for dollar. So there's that. Um, I don't know how, how often that's going to work, but there's another follow I have as a different variation. And this was a um, suggestion given by Red Standard, and you guys are going to like it. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for that, Dr. Phil. Get it? Because we do this all the time, or we used to talk about him all the time. Oh. <sighs> Wait, Peters, what did YouTube tell you about your channel? Oh, uh, the final date is the 11th, so I guess I'll find out Wednesday um, whether if I can live stream back on YouTube or not. You know, I'm getting very close, so I really hope that they don't say anything, you know. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue. Oh, that was really tough, man. You know, one thing, I can't figure it out. Maybe I need to go ahead and read uh, something more. Wait, what the freak? Did I did I just finish Path of Champions? <laughs> was that it? Um, what I really can't figure out is, how do you run? Quick grab. Strong grab, okay. Now I know. Uh, quick strike, strong strike. Okay. RB to strike counter. LB to grab counter. Well, that makes more sense now. RT to run. Oh, okay. Alright. That makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Now I know. I think I got it. Let's go ahead and check this out. Hey, PJ, your screaming is enough. <laughs> so, oh, you don't need the kid screaming? I just thought that was funny. I was going to replace it by a monster voice. I think that would have been funnier. Ooh, a steel cage match. Let's go ahead and play a steel cage match. Let's see how that turns out. Need to unlock more superstars. Do we not have the Undertaker? Oh, yeah, we do. I'm going to play as the Undertaker. And I'm going to take on the jabroni who left the company, CM Punk. Hey, PJ, I just got on. Did you enjoy Hell in a Cell and did SmackDown pay-per-view beat Raw pay-per-view? What was Raw pay-per-view? I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I think Hell in a Cell was better. Uh, the New Day match, though. Oh, my God. That tag team match was actually pretty good. I liked it. I enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, I didn't care much about Rusev. That stuff really bothers me, you know. Uh, triple threat match could have been just a little bit more better. But still, I mean, it was still pretty good, you know. Uh, it's just that Baron Corbin just came in and just won just like that. So... That kind of bothered me, but whatever. Who the Undertaker coming out? Holy crap, he looks weird. He doesn't do that. Damn, sexy. <laughs> Well, what do you think of Sami Zayn? Yeah, that that totally got me. And I was trying to see if fans actually knew that somebody was right there, somebody suspicious. Uh, because you know he was wearing a hoodie, all black colors, trying to blend in with all the all the camera people, all the crew people around the ring, you know. And he finally did did this right before that moment, and saved Kevin Owens. That was pretty smart of him doing that. Boy, he's got a lot of tell on SmackDown. A lot of people are going to be tuning in, that's for sure, to find out why does Sami Zayn do that, you know? Hmm. I wonder how that's going to turn out. I think that's 
a good move if they're actually going to do something with them together, which obviously they are. You know, Sami Zayn is probably going to come out. He's going to be heel. He's going to be like, hey, you know, I'd rather be the, you know, friends with the devil that I know, that I don't know, whatever. Something like that. Uh, you know what? I totally didn't see the controls. Come on, punk! Why are you trying to run away, son? All right. <laughs> I was trying to climb up on the cell. Next thing you know, punk totally got me. All right, so this is a steel cage match between CM Punk and the underwear. Where are the commentators? All right, <coughs> so these are the minor grapples. All right, this should be the strong grapple. There we go. All right, let's try one more time. Maybe in a different variation. Yep. Ooh, fall away slam. All right. He's hurting. Ooh, Kimura Lock. I mean, uh, Hell's Gate, not Kimura Lock. Oh my gosh, broke my back. Dang it. Was not able to counter that. That was supposed to be a uh, reversal. There we go. Oh, choke slam. Choke slam. You know what? I'm enjoying this game. Now. My gosh. He just jumped up in the air. Holy crap. Didn't expect that at all. And I was going to. Throw this game away. It's actually not that bad. It's just that uh, uh, it's very arcadey. Was that another choke slam? A different style choke slam. Uh oh, what is this? Balls. It would be awesome if they zoom in and just show balls exploding. Not really. I'm just kidding. Sick, sadistic monster. Did you see them blocks? Like UFC style. Ah, I have a finisher. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Alright, here we go. Another choke slam. Jump up in the air. There we go. Cool. Uh... All right, now. Oh, my God. The stage is golden. Tombstone. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, why am I going for... Oh, my God. You sick, sadistic monster. All right, another choke slam. CM Punk is dead. All right, I have to go away from him, so that way it... W oh. He got up! The audacity of this kid. What? Holy crap. What was that? People chanting CM Punk. Come on, grab him. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh! Wait a second! What is going on here? Get your ass down here! My gosh, this match is interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here! Get your ass down here, boy! You ain't going nowhere! This is fun! My god! You watching this? I'm having a blast. All right, let's go for the uh, second signature move here. The Thank you for that. Different one. Ooh, Tombstone. My fine seven. Somebody just followed me. 
Oh my god, did he just really toss him in the midair? For a tombstone? Alright, let's see who gets out first. Oh crap, wait, why am I... I'm climbing up. I don't even care. Really? Dang it! Oh my god! <laughs> Run! Come on. <laughs> oh my god! What is going on, dude? Ah! Oh, Jesus. This is tough. Wait, punk. You ain't going nowhere. No, he got it. He got it. No. Not happening today. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, wait. What the freak? Bit? How dare you? <sighs> oh, 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 oh! I got it! Yes! Wow! That was unbelievable! Holy crap! Do you see that? That has to be one of the best and the most exciting matches that I've ever played in any of the WWE games. It was uh it was so different and unique at the same time. Like I enjoyed it, you know. The style of that steel cage where you have to get out and actually do um get into the five options by pressing or you know getting into that bar. It's like um the kick out system on the old WWE games, but you have to do it like five times in order to win. That was very different. What other matches did you play? Uh, I played a, a singles match just to practice. Then I played um, the tag team championship match. For, it was one of the Path of Champions. And I beat D-Generation X. Um, so that was fun too. But this was, wow, unbelievable. That was pretty crazy. Put the difficulty up. Well, that won't be fun if I start losing. Or, you know, if I can't do anything. PJ, I bet $5 that Jinder Mahal is probably going to defend his title against Nakamura. Again? Uh, I don't know. The system is like TNA Ultimate x -Men. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is. Th uh, thank you, Mason, for bringing that up. That is uh, so true. You want me to bring up the difficulty? I'm still not really used to the game gameplay all right we're gonna play on contender settings all right we played tornado tag we played steel cage extreme rules Ooh. let's do extreme rules triple threat how about that I'll be green this time I like to pick Rey Mysterio, but I don't know if I can actually pick up people or not. Let's be Randy Orton. Alright. And my opponents are going to be... Holy crap. Dude. Alright, let's put Under the Giant. I just want to see how he looks. And Big Show. Uh, I don't know. Let's pick a normal person. Roddy Piper? Alright, Roddy Piper it is. Let's do SmackDown, why not? Wow. This game actually had DLC. Oh, really? That's very surprising. WWE All-Stars is based off a TNA Impact game. Oh, is it? So they got the idea from the TNA Impact game? Is that what you're saying? Now that you brought it up, their finishers and signatures are the same way where you have to press two buttons in order to 
activate. Holy crap, the screen is shaking as he's entering the, uh, you know, the ramp. Orton looks black. <laughs> what? PJ Dank Ops isn't happy with Thank 2K17. You for that. JJ000, whoever that is, just followed me. Thank you very much. Dank Ops isn't happy with 2K17 or 2K18? New York's finest says, is there going to be 2K18 Midnight Stream? Not the Midnight Stream, because I don't think I'm getting the game. Um, I mean, I ordered it off of Best Buy, so I should be getting the game on the day. So I'll have it Friday afternoon in my possession. I'll sh I should be playing it throughout the whole evening, you know. Dude, Randy Orton looks so weird. Remove the tattoos and all his attire. Not naked, but, you know, put some other clothes on him. You wouldn't be able to tell that, that you know, that's Randy Orton. No, it comes out on 12 a.m. on the 13th. Yeah, Boss Hog just mentioned what date it comes out. That's a deluxe edition date. 2K18. He just put up a video just now saying some bad stuff about it. Oh, really? Dank Ops just said that? Kudos to him for saying that before the game even actually came out. But did he monetize all the videos that he actually posted already? Because, you know, all these YouTubers, they've been posting videos like crazy. All the entrance videos and some of the gameplay matches and stuff, you know. Hang on. Actually, I would like to actually see this. Let's see. Dank Ops. Let's look him up. Thank you for bringing that topic up. Dank Ops. I'm actually trying to see his YouTube. Everything... Wait, I just came across the video. Where did it go? Uh, 35 minutes ago. F only five views? Wait, Welcome he just Welcome back posted? to the channel. Thank you so much. Let's watch this. I want to watch this. Thank you so much for stopping by. To promote the new movie Geostorm, Warner Brothers brought... Okay. They are. Yeah, yeah. Is the winner! Wow! wow. Included oh, here My heart was pounding. Couple things I wanted to talk about. This shouldn't be too long of a video, although I tend to ramble, so you never really know. But um, at this point, a lot of you guys, I'm sure, have seen the WW2K18 content that has flooded the YouTube space. Uh, you know, between gameplays and entrances and blah blah blah, and graphical improvements and all these other things. Um, and I thought it'd be cool, maybe to some of you, if I if I sat down and kind of told you. Just straight up how, how I felt about it. You know, I had about four hours total on the game. Um, and, you know, my experience is going to be different than someone else's experience. So I thought it'd be cool if I just kind of told you what I thought about it. What I thought was good about it and everything I thought was not good about it. Let me start off with what I thought was really, really... Before he says anything, the way I see the game, the game is identical to 2K17. I've been telling you guys... 2K15 came out, it was copy and paste, 2K16. 2K17 came out, it was a copy and paste from 2K16 to 2K17. And it's the same thing. They just keep on adding just a little bit more stuff. The gameplay is the same. The game feels the same. When you have the same feeling, you get, you get really bored. Yeah, they've added more stuff on my career, um, which will quite possibly you know show you some new cutscenes and all that stuff but the game feels the same that's all about it and uh and some of the things i know you guys are going to enjoy this year first of all here's a small thing remember universe mode last year whenever you would try to edit the match card like you edited one match then the whole card would just be like whacked like, like all crazy out of whack remember that happened last year that doesn't happen anymore. It seems like universe mode uh, is going to be a lot better than previous years as far as like randomness of what happens. Uh, universe mode for me, like the reason I haven't really played it that much the last couple years, it just gets a little repetitive. And I know it's funny that it I is say repetitive, that and then I upload as many career mode episodes as I do if you want to talk about repetitive. Speaking of repetitive, it seems like the my career this year might actually be like. What's the word I'm looking for? 
not as repetitive, I guess is the best way to put it. I hope. I only played it for about like 45 minutes in my career. So um, as far as that goes, I'm just as in, what's the word? I can't, I can't think of any words I'm trying to say. I'm like just in as much anticipation of it as, as you guys are because again, 45 minutes is not a lot of time. Um, so that could really go either way. There are a handful of things though that did bother me a little bit. Some of them are petty, some of them are a little petty, I'll admit, but some of them are a little bit bigger. Um, there's a lot of, there was a lot of oversight, I think, as far as the whole my player wizard thing. So if you guys don't know, and I'm sure most of you know because you probably watched the videos, when you start a my career or you want to play Road to Glory or, or either of those two, um, you have to start by creating your character you are very limited in the options off the bat. So what basically, what, so what you have to do basically is create the character with very limited options. Let everything load up and go into the main screen and sit through 10 minutes of loading screens. And then, <laughs> and then you get to the menu and the cutscenes start, and you're like, not how you really want to look. I, it's it's very limiting. It's very limiting. And while it seems like it shouldn't be too big of a problem because you can go right back in and edit it, it's a little inconvenient because you can't change the race of your character right off the bat. Um, and the options are just so limited. So, like, if you start off having a specific idea in mind for what you want your character to be, it's going to take you a little while to become that character. That sounds good on paper, but I know that there are going to be a lot of people who want to jump in and just be like, this is my guy, this is what I want to do, and I can't do it, and they might not enjoy that. And I understand that. Uh, so that felt a little limited to me, and I kind of wish that was expanded a little bit more. Um, Road to Glory. I, I like that they're adding in this new feature. I you know, I, I, I like the concept of Road to Glory, you know, unlocking these items and the events. Uh, run, you know, in line with Raw and SmackDown and pay-per-views. Like, on paper, that sounds really dope. But the 2K servers have been an issue for years. For years. So what did I I'm tell you? Potentially excited about Road to Glory. It bothers me that we haven't seen any gameplay, any, uh, any like, that. inkling of, hey, guys, don't worry, online is a little better this year. Like, the fact that really no one's spoken about any improvements in the stability of the online servers yeah. is a little bit concerning. So, yeah. especially it's since, you know, pretty shady. this mode is supposed to be a really, really big mode that people want to be excited about, and it's a brand new feature, and blah, blah, blah. So, hopefully, I feel like I'm using that word a lot. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully listen. You guys know, I'm, I'm a positive person. I want this game to be great. I want you guys to enjoy it. I want to enjoy it. I want to make great content out of it. I want you guys to enjoy the content that I make. Why do you think we keep buying the game every year? Because we hope for the best. We hope that if there are some mistakes, they go back and fix them by doing some updates. But they haven't been doing that. Yeah, they'll address some of the issues. Uh, yeah, there's going to be some glitches uh, in the first couple of months, and they're going to be fixing those issues. But the issues that's been our main concern in the last two years or so, they haven't been addressing those. Like, online is like the biggest one. We've had so much trouble playing online. I mean, it's a huge thing, you know? Especially after when you pour money into the game out of it um but at the same time we gotta be real uh, like realistic about a couple things also <sighs> this is one of the petty things i talked about why 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 would you go out of your way looking at you jinx why would you go out of your way to put a damn treadmill front and center like, it's not like in a corner. No, it's in your face. When you go in the backstage office l arena locker room area, you know what I'm talking about. It's in your face. And you can't run on it, you can't interact with it. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? When you know, you know damn well that here comes the pain is my, is my jam. Yeah. You run on the treadmill, you get up, you get a bunch of finishers under your belt. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle, best game ever, 
dive off the friggin' Empire State Building or yep, whatever it Helicopter is. or whatever. That's the stuff that I miss. <laughs> so I was very disappointed at the lack of the lack of uh, of treadmill usage. I know, again, it's petty, but whatever. So, okay, one more thing. Uh, just before I forget, it, it is a little more serious. Something that I know bugged me and bugged a lot of the other creators that were there. When we, when we played the build that was given to us to play, there were no cutscenes. Create, you know, create a video, cutscenes, blah, blah, blah. You guys. That's more than enough to convince me that the game is going to be lackluster, especially in the beginning. Um, and I'm not going to waste time because he said enough to make me convinced that we're going to have a lot of trouble in the beginning. I want to see some of your comments. Let the comments pour in. Uh, hey PJ, I got a question for you. He says, awesome con. Go ahead, um, because I'm reading the comments right now as we speak. Someone brought up the Here Comes the Pain remaster. That's not going to happen. Yeah, thank you for bringing up that video, man. That's, that really helps, you know. As a big creator like, uh, Dank Ops is, you know, him making a video and just letting people know what he thinks that just totally uh, makes me feel comfortable of what I've been telling you guys you know and that's what's gonna happen exactly what I've been telling you guys uh, it was not the final bill though yeah but <laughs> okay okay I know L let's just wait first couple of weeks to see what what happens I actually don't even expect the online to work fluently the first week or two I know we're gonna have some trouble and then you know at one point they reset the whole online server and you lose all your data like the people that peop you know the superstars have been created co on community creations and all that crap you know that should be the name of the game from now on. WWE, hopefully, 18. Yeah, because it's a copy and paste. Honestly, I don't think one year is more than enough to build a game. You know, if, if you really like to make a freaking game uh, fresh, something that has something more better than last year, honestly, spend more time making it, you know? And I hit the freaking guy on social media from 2K that just puts a camera right up in his face like, Alright guys, I got a brand new video for you and I hope you're going to like it. Today we are bringing you this. And man, shut your mouth, man. Why post like fucking 40 videos in two months of like a two minute content telling us what you have done? And the thing is, like, they want us to pre-order the game, and all this stuff has been released just within the two or three week of time frame before the video game even comes out. Shady as hell, man. It really, it really pisses me off, man. I mean, oh, I'm gonna lose my mind if I keep up with this crap. Let's go ahead and play this. What was I playing? I was playing a triple threat match. Under the giant. Ooh, I picked him up? Oh my gosh. I didn't expect that to pick him up like that, you know? I'm the skinniest guy in here. What is he doing? Is he eating his eye? Do a big grapple. Come on. Whoa. People are chanting Piper, Piper. Reversal. Ooh, German suplex! Holy crap! Can I bring out a weapon? This is Extreme Rules, isn't it? Oh, there's the weapons. 
Hmm. Ah, oh, let me run away, cause. Uh, there we go. Ah, oh, crap! What a elbow drop. Why is Andre the Giant looking at me? There's Piper right there. Piper, do something! Trying to get that. There we go. That's how you bring a weapon. All right, I'm about to hit it. Take that. Oh, crap. Really? Oh, crap. I think that's his signature move right there. Ah! Why are you hitting me, son? All right. What? I was trying to do a dive? Oh, what the hell? He just won. The dive didn't work. Well, that's dookie. You know, I need to see how to change the player indicators. There hasn't been much footage going deeper into my career from what I've seen. There's still zero dialogue in the... In its AMD... The matchup menu is the same as the universe mode. That makes me worried. And it will be the same, says Red Standard. Like, they don't even show us the footage of new scenes, stories, cutscenes, uh, until the game comes out. See, that's what I'm saying, man. When they create, not the creators, not the YouTube creators, when the people who make the game, they don't even show you a full content of what they have done in the game. That really bothers me. Don't leave it up to the YouTubers, you know, to show the footage. That's horrible, man. Because what they do is they're using YouTubers as a park to uh, bump up their game in sales and everything, you know. Oh, look at this awesome game. Look how cool it looks on the entrance videos and all that stuff. They're letting them monetize and stuff and without thinking that the game is actually crap. Man, I don't know. Tuka does a terrible job promoting their game. WWE and NBA. NBA. <sighs> yeah, I, come to thinking of, I haven't seen any of these uh, new cutscenes that they've actually mentioned that's going to be triggering in the My Career mode. Have you? I haven't. I don't know. PJ, how long do you think Tuka will keep copying and pasting? Forever. I mean, if we guys don't say anything to them, they won't change it. You know? YouTubers can't show us because they aren't gonna given enough time. Or maybe though, you know, they don't have the build, correct build. As like Denkop said, you know, the build that they were playing, they didn't have the cutscenes. What the hell were they doing? I mean, this is like a month ahead of time. The game is coming Thank out. Thank you for that. And they don't have that feature? That's messed up, man. Thank you, Steel Soldiers, for following me. Little Gamer is back. What did Denkop say? He uh, He's pretty much said some of the things that I actually said. He said that the build that they played they didn't have cutscenes in it. Uh, they fixed the universe mode. It's not... Uh, like, let's say you try to go reset a match and everything goes haywire on the card. Uh, that doesn't happen anymore. Everything remains the same, like what you want to want it to be on the card. Um, um, they've placed objects and stuff that you can't use in, in the certain spots. So let's say if he's walking down the hallway uh, backstage, there's a huge treadmill in the way. You have to get out of the way to run down the hall. And you can't even use the treadmill. Why place an object that you can't even use? And here comes the pain. There are several objects in the space area that you think that you can't even use them. However, you throw an opponent into one of those objects, it does something. There's an interaction between an object and the human or, you know, the, uh, the person. 
so yeah man it's just mm. actually trying to see how do you change a player indicator or look at a different opponent trying to see I don't see anything taunting pinning opponent knockout menu controls finisher and signature moves combo attacks quick and strong charge strike charge grab running attacks uh, I don't see anything I wonder if everything is uh, by default could be you never know not to mention that there aren't any uh, new classic arenas legend characters have the exact same attire since 2k16 they can't update attires I don't even care about that man just <laughs> make the game playable and very nice and crisp not paying 60 bucks for that game not worth it yeah why do you think I got that Best Buy thing where I actually paid uh, like $72 for the game rather than playing like paying uh, like almost 100 bucks for the deluxe edition that's how much I paid. PJ, if I didn't tell you about Dank Ops, would you be still mad at the game when you get it? Yeah, either ways. I mean, uh, you, my feelings were still the same because I hate it the way what you know Red Standard said earlier that the way they promote the game and that one dude who comes up on social media. And he says, he shows his timeline. Oh, hey, look, I'm editing this video. It'll be out later on today. Uh, we're going to take you down and show you what we've been working on. We've got this new exciting feature. We've added this and stuff. It's not all that exciting, in my opinion. What they have. These are like little things that you shouldn't even mention. And if you do, you should be embarrassed that you just mentioned these little freaking things. You know? You shouldn't have to make a video uh, like mano y mano and telling on YouTube that, hey, you know, hey, I'm a creator and we've added this onto the game in this year's edition. You know, that should be like in a freaking trailer that you should just notice right off the bat. But, I don't know. If you notice, when you watch a trailer for the 2k18 most of the stuff is just the gameplay like a match a regular match slash entrances there's some backstage stuff which you know of course we've seen it from the other youtubers and I guess that was a feature that was available in the previous build so all those have been put together and made into a new trailer what does that tell you from the game itself I haven't, I don't know anything about the online. Is online going to be the same as last year? Who knows? Let's hope. Let's hope that it'll be better this year. And let's hope that my career is better than last year. And it's not repetitive. And it doesn't have any glitches. Let's hope that the universe mode is okay. I don't even care about universe mode, to be honest. Um, th they're not adding the real new stuff that needs to the game needs a refreshed look I don't care I mean yeah they're giving us my career but give us something new and exciting you know <sighs> THQ are they still in business I don't know I, I can't keep up with THQ to be honest why are you asking me man can I get a ring of honor game made they don't have enough money to be honest The game has made me mad, LOL. It hasn't even come out. It has made everybody mad, man. I mean, I wonder if any of the other YouTubers watch my videos and if they listen to me, what I have to say. Or, like, they're just keeping this quiet. Can anyone link this? And I've been talking about this for the longest time. I don't know if anybody actually catches on to this thing or not. 
Same thing happened last year, man. I was complaining ahead of time, if I'm not mistaken. I've been complaining throughout the whole year about 2K17. It's just that they never fix it, man. They never do. Oh, man. Life sucks and then you die. Isn't that the truth? What are we going to do now? Fantasy Warfare. Fantasy Warfare lets you represent WWE's legends or superstars in a series past versus present. Fantasy maps is to determine the greatest of all time. Extras. What is extras in this game? Oh. <laughs> THQ credits. THQ, come back, man. We need you to make a g uh, freaking game. Because 2 can't can't work on a game that well. Let's try Fantasy Warfare. I, I have no idea what this is. The old WWE collides with the new WWE. Okay. Ultimate Warrior and Shame. Oh, wait. I guess I have to play this first. I guess I'll be Sheamus. We're going to beat up um, Ultimate Warrior. Oh, wait. Crap. Why are we seeing this footage? Gonna get me copyright. Let me go ahead and block this if I can. There we go. I just skipped it. <laughs> Should I give Awesome Guy the money to get 2K18? What are you talking about, Awesome Kong? Peter, you know the game is going to suck. As everybody says, or as Dankop said, let's hope for the best. <laughs> we're we're going to... I've already spent the money, man. There's no turning back. Either way, I'm going to be playing it. The reality is, I want to play the game. I've already spent the money on the game. And the other creators are going to be playing the game. That's the truth. Because that's the newest WWE game, and that's the newest game that where everybody can actually play online and do other things, whether if it works or not, you know. And we're gonna be complaining it throughout the whole year. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Sheamus with that Goku haircut. <laughs> Wait, I didn't see it. I want to see this. Speaking of Goku, did anyone watch uh, Dragon Ball this past week? Little Gamer feels the same way, yo. All right, here we go. Oh, you gonna blo you gonna block, son? All right, you don't know who you effing with, huh? I was the one who come up with the Connor's cure. I'm just kidding. They were promoting uh, the whole thing with the Connor's cure last uh, month. I went back. And watched uh, some of the stuff that they did. How Triple H and some of the crew came out. And uh, let Connor play in the ring. Um, and he did 1-2-3 cover. And that totally. Ha like. I was watching that. And it had a lump in my throat. Because that was like such a surreal moment. And then you know. The news came. That Connor passed away. It was such a sad story. But you know. That kid's a. He watched Daniel Bryan. That was his hero. Um, he watched him wrestle in the front row. Or, you know, in the main event of WrestleMania. At, while he watched it in the front row seat. It was such a amazing moment right there. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you guys dislike guys like Roman Reigns or John Cena. I know a lot of guys have uh, much respect for John Cena now. Like, even though like they don't consider him to be like the greater greatest wrestler of all time or whatever, just because he does five knuckle shuffle like some of the cheesiest moves. Wrestling is cheesy, to be honest. I mean, everybody plays it on the gimmick, you know. 
there's few that play on their real gimmick, whatever, their badass gimmick, you know. But then again, they're playing gimmicks. And some of the moves that they do, it's they're non-believable. Dude, Ultimate Warrior is whooping my butt. Um, what I'm trying to say is this, is that John Cena has put a lot of smiles on kids' faces. More than any of the other superstars. And you cannot take away that fact. That whether what he's done, you know, because he's done a good deed. A lot of superstars do. Not only John Cena, but John Cena has done more than anybody else. Didn't he just pass the 500 mark? Just uh, uh, like last year, or was it a couple of years ago? More than 500 Make a Wish. He is truly one of the greatest, that's for sure, man. A lot of kids look up to him. And you may not know this, that the kids look up to him, until you meet the kids. Now, you're probably wondering, PJ, how the hell do you know you don't have any kids? I'm not talking about my niece and nephew either. I've actually met kids. Um, like the wrestling crowd, that actually wear John Cena's attire, his hat. Headband logo, wristband logo, whatever whatever they provide, you know, the merch for John Cena, you know. A lot of kids look up to John Cena, dude. It's a big freaking deal. Anyways, I don't know why we're talking about John Cena. Oh, man. Kick out. Barely a kick out. All right, let's go and see if I can use a finisher. Come on. What are you doing, Seamus? Oh. Ah. So many reversals, dude. There we go. What is this? Another power bomb. Another power bomb. Can we win this match? Uh. What's this? White noise? No. Looks like a rock bottom. All right, now. Come on! <clears throat> Pile driver, dude. You gotta be joking. I was trying to use my... No, I was the first one to do it. That's that thing is a joke. The finishers don't work half the time, man. He knocked me out. Oh man. Louis Coburn left. Peter, you're a cool person. I would like to meet you. I would like to meet you. I met um what's his name? Jimmy Steamer. He's actually one of my viewers. I haven't seen him on here, but uh, we met at the Rumble, and that was pretty cool. Warrior has the most realistic model in this game. Yeah, it actually does. Maybe because all the colors on his face. That's why. Connor to Daniel was like PJ to Shawn Michaels, then he blocked him on Twitter. That's a messed up comparison. Peter, my question to you is when THQ Company was making game, did the teaser of the game had more detail than T... 2K? I don't get the the question. Are you talking about the previous games? Because the people that work for 2K are the same people that work for THQ that made the the WWE game, I think. Isn't that right, Red Standard? It's just that those people have started working for 2K now. But, you know, some of the two, uh, games that, or should I say, some of the stuff that 2K does, it's so weird. I don't know, like, they're not spending enough time creating a game that everybody wants. They're not doing things realistically, you know. They're just being lazy. They're doing the copy and paste method. And they're making just a little, just little changes here and there. 
Oh, yeah, his body? Yeah, his body looked pretty good. Which, you know, freaking Ultimate Warrior was like a Superman physique, you know? Just... It's like, I'm giving you guys like a girl's figure, you know? Oh, man. What? Okay. Guys, I think I am done for today. I enjoyed playing this game. But... You know what? Should I go ahead and say this? I may regret this. This game is better than 2K18. No, I'm just kidding. No, this game is totally different than 2K18. It's you can't even compare. This game is very arcadey. Um, it's just that I guess we're gonna have to wait to find out how 2K18 is. Hang on, let me dashboard Xbox. I want to see something here. You know, I had 2K15 for Xbox 360. <laughs> I was going through my games. I was like, wait a second. I have 2K15 for PS4, and then I have 2K15 for Xbox 360, and it's a totally different game. Like, the game, you know, the previous generation compared to the, the newer one, it's so weird and bizarre. Let me bring it up. Hang on. Don't go anywhere, folks. I'm not going anywhere. It's like I haven't even touched this game. Let's see. Let's see what my progress is on this game. <clears throat> that's when they had to delay the PS4 version. Ah, that's why I got the game. I no wonder why I was like, I have this game for a reason I was like did I get the PS4 at that time and or should I say um did did I not have PS4 at that time when I got this game for 360 uh update okay let's go ahead and let it update <clears throat> bye PJ how dare you tell me bye you're not going anywhere stay here when you get 2K18 first match, can we see the ball to Maharaja? <laughs> PJ, I feel like Twitch flow is better than YouTube. That's my op opinion. Uh, yes. Twitch is much better as far as streaming goes. Um, I like the whole... The dashboard system, the way the interface is, it's very smooth. Alright, let's see what this game is like on 360. I totally forgot. I think the gameplay is much smoother than uh, PS4's. Although the graphics on PS4 are unreal. You know, they're freaking amazing. 2K15 is better than 2K18. Just joking. <laughs> of course, the servers are shut down. 2K Showcase. Who got NXT? What the hell is that? See, that that's it. That's all this game has. We need something else. We need a story. Of course, 2K Showcase was amazing. I just want to see. I'm not going to play. I want, I want to see what 2K Showcase had. 
all complete. Hustle, loyalty, respect, best friends. And I think... I think this game had two more DLCs. They had two more storylines, didn't they? If I'm not mistaken. Be they hear what Red Standard said. He's talking about it. THQ did a better job revealing the content better than 2K, which is true. Yeah, they probably did. They probably told the uh, people who made the game. They were like, all right, just release what the game has to offer, you know, pretty much. Rather than inviting all these YouTubers and letting them release all the entrances and everything. That foreshadows all the stuff that the game actually has to offer. Honestly, I don't know what the gameplay is or how everything is going to look when we enter the game itself, you know? Uh, Mark Henry, Hall of Pain, and Christian, one more match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a DLC. I do remember that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, okay, let's back out. And by that time, I had uh, the game for PS4, so I... Got the DLC for PS4. So imagine how much money I spent for 2K15, man. Who got NXT? What is who got NXT? I don't remember. <laughs> look at a look at Rusev, Corey Graves, WTF, dude. Who got NXT? Oh man. Ooh, these matches were tough to play, weren't they? Oh, they were pretty tough. I remember playing these. I had such a hard time. I was raging. You remember that Red Standard? I played this on, uh, I think I played it on PS4 version. I was raging pretty bad. Rusev versus Ziggler match. Yes. I was, oh my God. I was, oh, uh, I had lost my mind playing this dude. So hard. Creations. Shop. Options. Sh should I play one, just one match? Just to see how smooth the gameplay is. Let's play a Hell in a Cell match. Oh, look at the roster! <laughs> They're giving half of this? To us, and half of this is going to be released on DLC. We're going to have to pay half for half of the roster. This, the stuff that's actually supposed to be like free. And then look. Hang on. DLC. We got... Oh, we only have... Oh, actually, uh, I should have more stuff for PS4 rather than... Um, you know, for the 360 version. This is 360 version. I'm going to go ahead and pick... Um, why am I playing six man hell in the cell? Did I pick six man? No, it's supposed to be one. I want to play one v one. CM Punk. Wow, there's different versions of CM Punk. Nice. Let's face. Let's face Bald Undertaker. Hell in a Cell. Entrance is off. All right, here we go. Let's look at the custom superstars. I don't know if I had any custom superstars on this game because, you know, again, I ended up getting the PS4 version. CM Punk 2016 version. <laughs> what the freak? What happened? I'm sorry. I have no idea what, what is going on here. Oh, we want this engine back. Much better than the, uh, the new one. Most of the buttons actually work when you press them, right? What is that blue bar? The hell? And it's the Undertaker able to break free. It's almost too much to imagine the trials and 
tribulation <laughs> that the Undertaker must have faced in Death Valley along with Paul Bearer and Kane. Just by looking into the mm. eyes of the dead man, you can the reversals are the off. Of fire and hell with him. There we go. All right, get your ass out here. Trying to break this hell, actually. And again, utilizing this devilish structure to inflict more pain. King, it's no secret at what? Time, the Undertaker has been DDT. by his past, the darkness, the destruction. But the dead man will make you feel a uh? to make you a Oh man, these cage matches are such career shorteners. Oh my gosh, the dead man's risen from the grave. Dang, he's manhandling he's me. Undertaker is dressed like what? Oh, that's devastating. Like damn six. <laughs> Sixth grade, sixth grade teacher. Oh, that's hilarious. Thank you for that. Thank you, uh, whoever just followed me. Zeus Senior. Uh, why am I playing this on hard? I don't have anything to prove. What a chop. Oh, you can see Undertaker's underwear. And that could bust you open. That's funny. I didn't think he would be wearing any panties. Oh. Damn. And there's the reversal. Undertaker without any shoes. All those germs, man. He's in big trouble. Oh, Why did I make that The Undertaker? I don't remember exactly what I was doing. I mean, not that I'm doing anything bad, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm saying? I, I was hoping he would trip so you can see the underwear. Okay. I got a signature. Honestly, in all my years in this business, I can't think of anything more intimidating than standing Undertaker. What happened, bro? All right. Let's see if I can launch a OMG maneuver here. There we go. It's gonna be a suplex. I wonder if they're gonna bring back uh, the door where you can open up the door of the cell rather than breaking the cell. You know. Okay. See, this is where last night they were working on this cell area. Um, I really thought, because I was tweeting this, I was like, man, <laughs> I was like, man, they got to break the cell, man, from the top. If they would have done that, I was going to be more than satisfied rather than them breaking a table. All right, I'm jumping. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh -huh. They're gonna fight to the there we go. There. I'm climbing up. Wait. Oh, you can't be serious. Yes, I can. Where's Sammy Zayn when you need him? I this. To do oh, I did Halloween party for the stream. Oh, yes, I did. Oh, that's why I had different costumes for these people because of the Halloween. Okay, I'm glad you remember Red Sander because I don't. Alright, get your ass over here. Wait, what?
Lakers in trouble. CM Punk has capitalized okay. on opportunities and taken back momentum. Ah! Oh! Nice. <laughs> that was a weird zoom in. Come over here. Alright, let's break this cell. Oh no. Damn it. I don't think that thing is gonna break. It has no dents or anything. Why are they zooming into my butt? So, something was just odd about that. Here we go. Oh no, he reversed it. He's got two finishers. Undertaker. He looks so sexy in that dress. Crap. A tombstone. Oh, the cell's gonna break. Oh! <laughs> he fell! <laughs> oh, watch out! Referee! Before he pees on you. Now what, Undertaker? I'm fixing to jump on his ass. <laughs> Undertaker. You got. You like the Undertaker's outfit, don't you? Great. I'm wrecked. Trying to win this match, actually. Oh, no. Barely. Yep, I'm done. <laughs> Second tombstone. This is uh, on hard difficulty, that's for sure. I got the ropes! I got the ropes! Whatever. I quit. Oh, you can't qu you can't quit when you lose. That's funny. Has anyone noticed he has called Undertaker sexy in both his in both this and All Stars? Yeah. So what? You sick freak! Putting Undertaker in a dress thanks to P did they will remove attires to WWE superstars in 2K18. <laughs> no, they won't. They make the they make the game interesting, and a lot of people buy it. You know. Okay, guys. Looks like that is it for today. I will be posting this up on YouTube, so uh, just watch out for this video if you want to post any comments or whatever. You know, and look at that. Look at that sight. The Undertaker looking very proper after finishing school as a high school girl. Wow. The mascara is really on point. <laughs> no, this is not another 2K glitch. That, <laughs> that is Vito. That is so true. It looks like Vito. Oh, he's even got nails. The pink nails. Did you see that? That's awesome. Okay. Alright guys, I'm done for today. Thank you guys for watching this live stream. I may see you guys Wednesday night. Uh, before the... F it will be the final stream before 2K18 comes out. So, I guess I'll try to play uh, online with you guys on 2K17. Watch it, that will be the day they'll shut down the servers for 2K17. Or, I mean, uh, yeah, 2K17. That's gonna be... That's gonna be funny if they really do that. Okay. Alright guys, I'm done for today. Thank you guys for watching this lovely live stream. I will see you guys uh, either Wednesday or Thursday. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay? Pea soup. 2K18 does not come out tomorrow. 2K18 comes out, for Deluxe Edition comes out um, Friday. And um, the real street date is next Tuesday. Not this Tuesday, but the next one, which is uh, the 17th of October. Um, I will have the game in my possession on the 13th, okay? See you guys then. Bye-bye.